my incomprehensibly awesome plan to finally rid the world of those miserable Skylanders. I'm pleased you can make it to this so-called Big Apple to bear witness to my inevitable triumph. And as an inconsequential token of my appreciation, I promise not to exile any of you to the ultimate pit of never-ending doom! <laughs> You're welcome. Now, I, Chaos, would wish to be there to share my colossally brilliant plan in person. However, I am busy preparing for when I seize ultimate control over all of Skylands and the universe. So I am sending in my place my most loyal servant of servitude, Eric Hirschberg. Enjoy my evil presentation, presented by Eric. I think I'm going to play that at the beginning of all our meetings from now on. Um, what an introduction from, uh, from Chaos himself. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. I'm Eric Hirschberg, uh, lucky enough to be the CEO of Activision Publishing, and lucky enough to work on this incredibly magical uh, franchise we built called Skylanders. Uh, of course, we're here to talk about the next game in the Skylanders franchise, but first, I want to spend a little bit of time talking about the Skylanders franchise itself. Because Skylanders has become one of those very rare entertainment properties that has captivated imaginations the world over. To put this brand in a little bit of context, I want to share a few numbers that are pretty mind-boggling, especially when you consider the fact that we're talking about a brand that didn't exist just three years ago. In the 27 months between when we launched the first Skylanders game and the end of last year, the franchise has sold through more than $2 billion at retail, including 175 million toys. That makes Skylanders the fastest third-party video game property that's ever reached that $2 billion milestone. If you were to look at Skylanders just as a toy line, not even as a video game, but just as an action figure line, in 2013, Skylanders would have been the top-selling action figure line in the world, and it would have outsold the top three action figure lines combined. Skylanders was the number one video game franchise for kids in the US in 2013, and the number three video game franchise overall in 2013 in the US and Europe combined. Now here's my favorite part. Um, the Skylanders franchise has already become one of the top 20 video game franchises in history. So that's something that makes us all incredibly pleased and incredibly proud, and I bring all this up just because to put it in context, because how we got here as a franchise, I think is very important to where we're going next. With Skylanders, we didn't just create a franchise. We created an innovation, a new category of play that lives at the intersection of the digital and the physical worlds. And we managed to disrupt two industries in the process, both toys and video games. So we feel that disruptive innovation is what got us here, and that disruptive innovation is what will keep us here. Now, usually, disruptive innovations are followed by incremental improvements. And it would have been very easy for us to do that with Skylanders and simply add more characters. But that is not the path we've chosen. Our strategy with Skylanders is simple. We make kids say, wow, for a living. And when your strategy is making kids say, wow, then mere incrementalism isn't enough. Instead, we have strived with each and every release to make kids say wow yet again. We want to get that reaction each and every time. We certainly did it with Skylander Spyro's Adventure, which introduced the idea of bringing toys to life in a video game. In our next installment, Skylander's Giants, we introduced light core toys that magically pulled energy from the digital world to light up in the physical world without any batteries or visible connection of any kind. In last year's Skylander Swap Force, we introduced the idea of swappability, where kids could make choices and combinations in the physical world that were then reflected in the digital world. So our ongoing Skylander strategy is to try to stay in that state of perpetual innovation, to provide our young players with those wow moments each and every time. It's not the easiest road, but we believe that it leads to the highest peak, and that brings us to this year's game. For the last three years, we've allowed 
players to bring their toys to life inside a video game. And this year, we're letting them take them out. We have brought toys to life, and now we're going to try to bring life to toys, where kids can literally pull characters from the game world into the real world. Now, I don't know about you, but when I watch my kids play video games, two things happen. One is, while they're playing, they want to just enter into that world. They want to they step into the screen, and if they could, they would. But also, long after the game's over, their imagination is still being fired by what they saw in the game world, and they always wish they could pull just a little bit of the magic from that world out into our world. And I know I often feel the same way. Well, this year, that's exactly what we're going to do with our 2014 Skylanders game, which we're calling Skylanders Trap Team. Let's take a look. Leo, we're not allowed in here. Uncle Peter said. Come on, Madeline. Stop being such a chicken. Fun being frozen. And I'm cold blooded. Man, it's been a while, Crocodile. Good to see another one of the Trap Masters back in Skyland. Yeah, where you guys been? When Chaos blew up Cloudcracker Prison, the Trap Masters were blown into another dimension. Luckily, some Portal Masters found me and boomed me back. This is Leo and Madeline. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. Kids, we're the Skylanders, and this is Skyland. It's amazing. We do have a small villain problem. Hold on! Are you saying we haven't caught all the villains yet? It's tough to trap them without Traptanium crystals. The prism was made of the stuff, but now it's all gone. Wait, if we were blown into their world, maybe the crystals were too. Leo. Madeline, we need your help. Look around for colorful crystals. We can use them to trap the villains inside and make them fight for us. I think I found something. Oh, like this? Yeah, yeah you found one. It's Wolfgang. That good. Well, well, well. Look who we have here. The Trap Losers. We're the Trap Masters, mate. And we're about to teach an old dog some new tricks. Okay, Leo. He's one of us now. Whoa. Whoa. It feels good to be good. Now that's a good dog. Yeah. Uh, run away? Run, run away! We couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah, if we only had more traps. Who do you trap with this? Chaos. Now, when you beat a bad guy, you can capture them in a crystal trap. Hey! Where am I? Then send them back to fight for you. Over 60 new Skylanders, 40 trappable villains, 
and one amazing new adventure. Capture evil, unleash good. Skylanders Trap Team. Some toys and consoles sold separately. There you go. So this may look like any regular old crystal to you, but it's actually made of a very rare, very powerful, and very special material called Traptanium. And it's the only substance in all of Skylands that is capable of imprisoning the baddest of the bad guys. And as you saw in the trailer, kids will not only be able to trap the villains using Traptanium crystals, but they'll also be able to boom the bad guys back into Skylands and turn the bad guys into good guys to fight on your side. So you truly can capture evil and unleash good. But I don't want to steal all the fun. Uh, to talk to you about Skylanders Trap Team a little bit more and to show you a live demo, it's my honor to bring to the stage the head of Toys for Bob, uh, Paul, Mr. Paul Ritchie. Toys for Bob, as you know, was the original innovator of, that brought Skylanders to the world. And we're thrilled to have them back at the helm for this year's game. It's also worth noting that Toys for Bob is currently celebrating their 25th anniversary as a studio, a remarkable achievement in this business and very rare in the games world. So please help me welcome the one and only Mr. Paul Ritchie. Uh, thank you, Eric. It's really great to be here today, especially because Toys for Bob is celebrating its 25th anniversary, so many years of creating fun in video games. And our latest innovation is Skylanders Trap Team. We're going to leap forward once again and redefine the way kids play. But believe it or not, we now live in a world where kids expect all their toys to come to life. So we're dedicated to inventing new ways, new exciting experiences that blend the physical and digital worlds. So in addition to pushing our graphics technology to incredible new heights of detail and beauty, we've challenged ourselves to take the magical innovation of Skylanders further than ever before. We asked, what if we didn't just bring toys to life? What if we could expand the fun, reverse the magic, and start putting life into our toys? So this year, we're not only bringing toys to life, but for the very first time, we're bringing life into the toys. The portal master, master reaches through his portal into Skylands, grabs a digital character, pulls them out, and then captures them in a sparkling crystalline trap. Now, to introduce the Trap Team's innovation, we've created a fun, family-friendly storyline. Chaos, our series villain, well, he's got another master plan. This time, he is going to lead a gang of Skyland's most nefarious villains by breaking them out of the maximus security prison you've ever heard of, Cloud Cracker Prison. Its walls are made of a mystical substance called Traptanium, and this is what keeps the villains trapped there. They're also guarded by a new breed of Skylanders called the Trap Masters each wielding an enormous weapon made of pure crystalline traptanium. So chaos, being chaos, goes kind of overboard with the jailbreak thing and totally blows the, the jail completely up, sending both the trap masters and shards of traptanium to Earth, and also releasing the most wanted villains back into Skylands. So it's up to you, the portal master, and your Skylanders to go back, track down all those villains. And yes, that includes chaos who will, for the very first time, be playable. So, at this point, I would like to have members of our production team, Lou Studdard and Elias Jimenez, give a short demo of the game. Thanks. Hey, everyone. My name is Lou Studdard. That's Elias Jimenez. We're part of the Skylanders production team at Activision, and we couldn't be more excited to show you Skylanders Trap Team. As you just heard from Eric and Paul, the team is actually pushing innovation further than ever before. And so we're gonna hop into the demo and show you how kids are gonna be able to grab something from the digital world and bring it to life in the physical world. And they're gonna do that in their living room and at our fancy podium over there. And so we're gonna hop in with a brand new Skylander, a trap master called Snapshot. Rock and roll! <laughs> ah, 
It is I, the Chompy Mage. And you are still not a Chompy, so I still don't like you. Let's rock! And here come the Chompies. Oh, chompy, Chompy, Chompy! More Chompies! Are you still here? How irritating! I suppose I should make this a little tougher! Round two! So the team, the team at Toys for Bob is creating a cast of most wanted villains that are very, very unique, all of which have their own personalities, appearance, voice, and as you can see, because of that oversized personality, it actually feeds into how they fight. So Elias here is dodging the flaming shockwaves left behind by the Chompy Mage, who is transformed into a Mega Chompy. Yeah, that was a chomp whomping. I see the problem now. I'm not using all my powers to defeat you. Instead, I have just been incrementally increasing the difficulty. Well, that's about to change. <laughs> Super Magma Form. So increase difficulty or not, Elias is a trap master and should be able to make quick work of the Chompy Mage. Ow! Chompy Mage defeated. Put a life trap on the portal to trap this villain. What's going on now, Chompy Puppet? I don't know, man. So Elias defeated the Chompy Mage. But the game's not just about finding these most wanted villains and simply defeating them. It's about something a lot more exciting. And to achieve this, we're introducing a brand new toy type called a trap. And it's this trap that is going to allow kids to grab the Chompy Mage from the video game and bring them to life in their living room. What the? What did I do to deserve this? Oh yeah, all that stuff I did! Oh! Who will look after the Chompy? Ah. Hey! What's going on? Where am I? It's very dark in here! And it kind of smells like mustard! <laughs> Chompy Mage trapped. And so now you just saw how we literally reached into the game and dragged the Chompy Mage, kicking and screaming, into the living room, where he now lives inside the trap that Elias used to grab him. He's now a toy. This is the Chompy Mage. So we've actually given life to what was once just a simple trap. It's now the Chompy Mage. And so we're going to load into another level by taking the trap off the portal, and we're going to show you just what we can do now that we have the Chompy Mage in our own trap as part of our trap team. Hey, Skylander. Have you seen any crazy nuts hanging around this place? Hey, I'm sitting right here, you know. No, silly. I wasn't talking about you. I mean these magical boingo nuts that grow here. And if you take one over to a spot like this, kablam! Instant Vine Bridge! No stopping me! So before Elias crosses that beautiful Vine Bridge, we're gonna take our Chompy Mage trap and put it back on the portal. Chompy Mage. In Skylands? And so now, through the power of Traptanium, we have turned evil into good. And we are now in control of the Chompy Mage. And what's really cool about that, outside of the fact that you get his squeaky shoes, is the fact that all of those moves that you just saw him fight against us, we now get to use against the other villains in the Skylands. 
And so we're gonna progress forward here and encounter some egg executioners and show you what we're talking about. Chompy summon! And so as the Chompy Mage, you're able to summon your own Chompies. You're able to use the staff for a good chomp whomping. But my favorite part of the fight and my favorite move to use is the ability to turn into a Mega Chompy and create your own shock waves to defeat the enemies. Ah, good times. And once the enemies are defeated and Elias wants to go back to playing as his Skylander, he can simply take the trap off the portal and he's back to playing as Snapshot. But the Chompy Mage is still in that trap. But what's really great about playing a Snapshot is that he's one of the new Trap Masters. And so each of the Trap Masters have their own unique, epic Traptanium weapon that actually gives them the ability to access hidden areas, hidden collectibles, and even more villains. But because it's their weapon that's Traptanium, they also get a damage boost against all trappable villains, making them the best choice against those most wanted villains that you can capture. Coming through! Skylanders of the water element are stronger in this zone. So it looks like to progress we're gonna need to flip that switch. But I saw some egg executioners guarding it. Luckily, Elias has actually played further into the game and he has his own trap that he brought with him from his home that actually has a really cool villain. And that is a terrible pun that is intended. Chillville. Here comes Mr. Ice Guy! Oh. Cold front coming in. And so Chill Bill is a troll with a freeze ray, which he can actually use to turn enemies into ice cubes. But what if you have your Skylander and a trapped villain on the portal at the same time. Wouldn't it be awesome to freeze an enemy, switch back to your Skylander, and then shatter them? Well, the team has a single button tag team feature. At any time, you can switch back and forth between your Skylander and your trapped villain, setting up really unique gameplay and really fun combat encounters where you choose which Skylander and which villain you want to use. in the mix. I'll take it from here. And so you just saw, by using Snapshot and Chill Bill, Elias was able to take care of those executioners with ease. So now we're gonna progress forward and check out another most wanted villain. Smith ahead, Drone 2. So this is the Shred Knot. So Elias is gonna switch back to Chill Bill, attempt to freeze him, only to find out that this villain is too big to freeze. So Elias, luckily, is playing as a Trap Master and can use that Traptanium weapon to get a damage boost against a capturable enemy. So he should be able to take out the Shred Knot with ease. Shred Knot defeated. Put a tech trap on the portal to trap this villain. Now what do we do, Troll 2? Just play it cool, Troll 1, like me. And so you just heard that we'll need a tech trap to capture the Shred Knot. Like our Skylanders, the villains and the traps are elementally aligned. So Elias has a tech trap, and we can capture the Shred Knot. This is it, Troll 1. Remember me? It's a hero! It's so cracked in here, I can't even tell which troll I am. You're troll one, I think. 
Shrednot trapped. We must now fight for the good guys, Pro Do. Maybe we'll finally be on the winning side for a change. And so now we've captured the Shrednot, an all new character that we can play as. And so we're going to send him back into Skylands and see what he can do. Ready, set, go! go. Oh. It's Shred! And so now. We're playing as the Shrednot, a big lumbering lumberjack tank driven by two trolls. You can see it's really great against rushing melee encounters. You know, all of those close quarters battles is when you would really want to use the Shrednot. But if you encounter a ranged villain, you'll want to switch back to your Skylander. I'll take it from here. One of my many achievements. And so we've now defeated those enemies. So in addition to the Shrednot, in addition to the Chompy Mage, we're going to have over 40 unique villains that kids are going to be able to find and trap and then play as, turning them to good. And we'll have a rock and roll werewolf you guys saw and even a playable chaos. But in addition to that, we're introducing the Trap Masters, an all-new group of Skylanders with epic Traptanium weapons, as well as new core Skylanders. But the other big point is the fact that we are fully supporting every single Skylander from the previous titles. And they will be able to trap and switch between the villains just like the other characters. And so I'm going to toss it back to Eric. Thanks, everyone. Thanks so much to Paul, Lou, and Elias. Great job, guys. So you guys have now seen uh, what I hope you'll agree is an incredible new game with Skylanders Trap Team. And of course, Skylanders will once again receive incredible support from our retail partners. And there's one retail partner in particular that's always shared stages like this with us, who has been a supporter of the franchise since even before it was launched. In many ways, Toys R Us has become Skylanders headquarters. And to know what I mean, all you had to do was drive here today past the Toys R Us in Times Square, where there are about, I think, over 500 kids lined up right now for a free toy giveaway to be the first in the world to get our latest uh, Skylander. Do we have the picture? Our latest Skylander character, Doomstone, is available today for the first time. And these guys are going to be the first ones to get it. This is happening right now. This picture was taken just a few minutes ago. And a lucky few of these kids will actually uh, have to answer some trivia questions in a contest, and the winners will be selected to be amongst the first in the world to actually come and see Skylander's trap team up close. So, um, so with all that support, we thought it was only appropriate to have someone from Toys R Us come up uh, and represent as well. So I'd like to bring Richard Berry to the stage. He's the EVP and Chief Merchandising Officer for Toys R Us. He's a 30-year veteran of the Toys R Us brand, and I'm told a Skylander super fan. Richard. Well, good afternoon, and I want to first thank Activision for having Toys R Us here. Um, as Eric says, Toys R Us is the global destination for the Skylanders franchise. And we're really excited because Skylanders has shown over the years, since 2011, that it's been able to reinvent not only toys, but also video games, and crunch that together by bringing toys to life. So we're really excited about uh, being here as a, a, a partner of Activision. For decades, more than, more than six decades, Toys R Us has been home to some of the best, most innovative products in the marketplace. When Skylanders was first introduced to the marketplace in 2011, Activision promised it would change the way kids played with video games and played with toys. So how did they do? Three blockbuster titles later, millions of toys sold, all of which had been named to the Toys R Us annual uh, toy list, Activision has delivered that promise of innovation over and over again, and we couldn't be more excited about the launch of Trap Team. In fact, Skylander Swap Force was the largest video game sold at Toys R Us last year. It was also by far the biggest action figure sold at Toys R Us last year. The Skylanders brand is one of the most successful kids franchises we've seen. And we're thrilled to continue our incredible partnership with Activision as we look forward to this fall's launch of Skylanders Trap Team. Since the beginning of our partnership with Activision, 
we believed in the magic and innovation of Skylanders. As Eric mentioned, we were nagging to get this thing on the shelves from the second we saw it, and we were so excited with the absolute innovation. We knew that it was going to really redefine the way kids thought about video games and, thought, and think about toys with that magical moment of taking an action figure, putting it on the portal, and bringing a toy to life. Toys R Us now serves as the leading destination for combination video games and toys. And we know that we will continue to do that in the year ahead with Trap Team. Toys R Us has provided Skylanders unprecedented brand presence in our stores. You'll find it in the video games area with a huge section, but that's not all. You'll find it in the toy section, and over the, over the last three years, we've built unprecedented huge feature shops in our stores, and not only in the United States, but in 34 countries around the world, as Toys R Us is a global retailer. In addition, we've really gone deep into the franchise, carrying the widest assortment of licensed products, so however a child wants to think about and engage in the franchise, whether it's with apparel, whether it's with toys or construction, we've had it all with many products you cannot find anywhere else. And over the years, we've worked with Activision to leverage the growing and intense brand equity of the Skylanders franchise. How do we do that? Well, what the kids really find exciting about Skylanders? Well, first, an incredible game. You can't not be blown away by the demonstration we've seen the innovation in the game, and we've seen that for three years with three massive blockbusters. But what's beautiful about Skylanders is not only the fact that it's a great game, but also that it, it mashes up gay, the, the toys and the video game together in a way that kids have never seen before. We're really excited because we've been able to establish an incredible partnership. We have many partnerships at Toys R Us, but our partnership with Activision stands as one of the best that we have, based on the fact that we've built the brand together. We've built the brand by having the widest assortment of product. We've built the brand by having those rare characters available in our store, sometimes first. And we've built the brand by having exclusive lines within Skylanders, including the Legendary series. And we're really excited this year that we're gonna be able to announce once again that we'll have a Legendary series under the Trap Team franchise. So that's really exciting. You'll only be able to find that at Toys R Us. Simply put, the, the Skylanders trap team is just as innovative as the first Skylanders that we saw back in 2011. That ability, as you saw in the demonstration, to bring toys to life and then put life into the toys is something that we know our, the kids that shop our stores are really going to love. What could be better than being able to trap a villain have that as your mascot, go to your friends, and then play that villain in the game to, to conquer Skylands. The Skylands franchise is defined by an unwavering commitment to innovation. We know, we know that this innovation is going to deliver an incredible uh, result this year in terms of the launch, and we couldn't be more excited to be the premier partner with Activision. Great news is that Skylanders Trap Team will be available for pre-sale at ToysRS.com at 7 p.m. tonight, so make sure you go online and do that, and, and also in all of our stores nationwide tomorrow morning. So we couldn't be more excited to have such an incredible partner, to be a partner in such incredible innovation, both in toys and in video games, and to have a, a partner that innovates in terms of its partnership with retail. And with that, I'm going to hand back to Eric. Thank you, Richard. Um, Toys R Us really has been a great uh, friend and partner of the brand. But it's not just Toys R Us that is giving unprecedented support to this launch. We are not slowing down with this franchise. In fact, we're speeding up. We expect this to be the biggest launch in the history of the franchise. We've got 175 licensing and promotional partners, which means that you'll be able to find Skylanders in just about every section uh, of the store at retail. And we're working with some of the biggest and best uh, marketing partners in the world, the likes of Frito-Lay, General Mills for the second year in a row, we're being featured as a McDonald's Happy Meal. Uh, so, you know, these endorsements mean a lot to us, but obviously the endorsement that means most to us comes from one audience and one audience alone, and that's the kids themselves. And I opened 
uh, today by saying that we make kids say wow for a living, which is a great way to, to come to work every day. So I'm going to leave you today with a little glimpse into what emboldens us into thinking that we have yet another winner on our hands with Skylanders Trap Team. Uh, we, of course, as part of our creative process, have a lot of play testing. We bring a lot of kids into the fold and let them uh, play with the ideas and get their hands on. And this is part of what emboldened us to do Skylanders in the first place because we saw the response that we got from kids. So I want you to be able to see that firsthand because there's no way I could do it justice by merely describing it. So I'm going to leave you with a little taste of that. And in the meantime, thank you very much for coming and making the time. It's great to have you here. Thank you. He's in there. Yeah, he must be in here. Oh yeah, I see his foot. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I'm coming. Yay, yay, yay. How is this kid? I would give it a score of 999,999,999. Million, well, that certainly didn't go as I had planned. I am seriously questioning this room's commitment to evil, especially you, Eric. But the joke's on all of you. Ha! The joke! Now that you have stupidly shared the Skylander's ridiculous plan to defeat me, you have inadvertently given me all I need to create a far superior counterplan of doom! The gauntlet has been thrown, Portal Masters. Prepare for your utter demise on October 5th. So 